Then we have our fresh homemade almond milk. I'll throw a straw in there. Folks, you're gonna love this one. Hello everybody, it's Paul Neeson with the World Life Health Channel. We are back in the kitchen and today we're making my favorite of favorites. We're making almond milk. And people like to buy almond milk from the store, but the almond milk from the store is not the same as making it yourself, especially if it's sitting on the shelf. When I make this fresh almond milk, I gotta leave it in the refrigerator. But when people, when it's sitting in the shelf for who knows how long and there's just, it's dead. There's nothing in it. There's no life to it. You want to make the almond milk fresh and it's very easy to do. Uh, it, it can sound intimidating, but it's very easy to do. And we're going to be making it today. And I love this recipe and I do it often. And it's the basic for it. This is the base. You can add other things to it later on. We'll talk about that. But the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to get almonds. Now today I'm just using almonds alone and that's why it's called almond milk. There are other different types of nuts or seeds you can use, but almond is a great base. For example, if I wanted walnut milk, I wouldn't make just walnut milk. I'd make almond walnut milk still using almonds as the base. And I, I often like to add sesame seeds to my milk as well, my almond milk. But today I'm using just plain almonds and I soak them overnight. It does make it easier digestible when you soak it overnight. And I always knew that. And I used to, when I eat them, I like to soak them overnight and then consume them the next day. However, I never thought it made a difference when you made almond milk or blended things up, but it does, folks. It even makes a difference when you make an almond milk. So you soak the almonds overnight. And let me tell you about almonds real quickly. Most almonds that are gotten in the United States today come from California, and most of them are not really raw because the government years ago uh, said somebody got sick from eating a raw almond or they say they did and they said all almonds must be pasteurized well on my website rawlife.com I found a source of almonds that are completely raw and that's the almonds I'm using here today so on my website rawlife.com you can get those almonds big difference even if you're in a health food store and it says that these almonds are raw they're really not because they're slightly pasteurized which would lower the heat and destroy the enzyme so keep that in mind so we have that on rawlife.com. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, uh, I'm making this now for myself and my, <clears throat> my wife and my baby. I'm going to take three cups of almonds. Now normally if I was just doing it for myself alone, I would do one cup of almonds. But I'm doing three cups of almonds because it's for three of us. Basically uh, it's per person one cup of almonds and two cups of water per person. Uh, so uh, that would be the best way to do it. And so, so I've got three cups of almonds and we double the amount of water. So I have three people, so I'm going to have three cups of almonds and six cups of water. And that, now you could add more water if you wanted to go a little bit further in terms of saving money or, or you could add less, but the, the recipe is one cup of almonds and two cups of water per person. So three cups of almonds we have today and I'm going to put these almonds to the side. And now I'm going to get my water. I'm going to get th uh, six cups of water I'm going to put in here. I'm using filtered water, three. And if you didn't have a blender that was this big, you might have to get a uh, four. You might have to uh, cut this in half. We come with five. And then one more cup. You'd have to get a blender much smaller if you're going to make this much or much bigger or you can make it in different sections. All right, I got my water in there and something important when you're soaking the almonds, uh, the water is not going to be clear. So you want to drain off that water that you're soaking the almonds with in the morning and then wash it and then put the almonds in. So that's the way you want to do that when you're soaking the almonds. So we got our almonds in there. Now we're going to blend this up here. So I'm putting the cover on here. So now I just blended my almonds and I'll take the cover off here and now I have this cup of almond milk but this isn't really almond milk this is just blended up almond water and the way we make the milk is what we're going to do is we're going to take I have a bowl here it's a, a nice big bowl that I have my salads in usually uh, we're going to take that and then I have here this is called a nut milk bag I sell these on the website also at rawlife.com there's a nut milk bag this is a must for every kitchen and you can use, believe it or not, you can go to Home Depot and buy a paint strainer and use that as well, but of course not after you've painted. Uh, but this is a, a, a nut milk bag, it's just a, 
a bag here and uh, what I do is uh, I'm going to put it right around here and now I'm going to pour and you can use a cheesecloth as well. I'm going to pour uh, the milk into the bag making sure none of it comes out and what I'm doing now is I'm straining the milk to separate the pulp uh, from the almonds and basically if you wanted a juice using a blender you would do it the same way you would take the juice and pour it in one of these bags and just squeeze it out so uh, basically here I am I'm just squeezing if you can see that I'm just squeezing the bag very lightly and all the milk is coming out and now that's the almond milk and what's going to be remaining in the bag after I squeeze the almond milk is going to be uh, uh, almond pulp which you can use for almond flour uh, we often like to dehydrate things with it uh, but you don't have to throw it away this is organic almond pulp so uh, same thing if you're making a, a green juice uh, with this same method the pulp uh, you could save and, and use it for crackers or something like this we often can make almond cookies uh, with these things so we're getting a lot of water now remember this is for three people uh, and we did it three times the recipe normally it would be once but you see how simple and easy it is and for one person it's very simple big difference between doing this and getting your almond milk from the store so we're gonna finish that it's almost like milk and a cow look moo alright we're milking a cow but there's no cow here there it goes and one of the reasons why you want to drink almond milk versus uh, traditional cow's milk uh, or any kind of milk that you would get in a store is uh, when in terms of animals uh, the dairy products today are just so drugged up and processed uh, and mucus forming that you wouldn't want to put it in your body is really not healthy uh, so I recommend almond milk is a wonderful substitute and it's a much healthier alternative to that toxic store-bought drugged up milk so now uh, we're getting down to the end here the pulp's getting really dry all right so I got the almond milk there made and the, we don't need this now but the pulp that's left over I'll show everybody now it's a very dry pulp it's a very dry pulp so I'll put that in there and I'll leave that bag in there now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to clean the rest of the pulp out of the Vitamix there's not too much in there but I'm just going to quickly rinse the Vitamix or the blender okay I quickly rinse that I'm going to put that back here I'm going to rinse the cover great now I'm going to pour the almond milk in back into the blender now this is almond milk by the way folks see there you go that's the almond milk and I could just use that but to be honest it's, it's not flavored almond milk so it doesn't have the best flavor right now it doesn't have any flavor right now really but I got the milk in the blender and now here is where uh, I'm an artist and here's where my art, uh, artistry comes in the first thing I'm going to do right now is I am going to add a pinch of salt so I'm just adding a pinch of sea salt now you don't have to do this but I just like uh, adding it uh, to mineralize it and I just add a very very small amount of salt next thing I'm going to do is I am going to add some coconut uh, butter now this traditionally is not part of the almond milk recipe but this really makes mine uh, taste amazing and gives it it just turns it into a malted milkshake it's just amazing and I'm using the coconut butter by Artistana and I'll put the link below the video of, of where to get this on my website it's coconut butter this is the the flesh of the coconut uh, pressed and then you get this so uh, again for one person you put about one teaspoon and we are three people so I'll put about two tablespoons or so so we got that the next thing we're going to do is our sweetener and our sweetener today normally I like to use dates but we're out of dates uh, so I'm going to use a fresh honey that we got and I'm going to put here and base how sweet you want this if you have any issues with diabetes or any other blood sugar issues you might want to skip the honey and use stevia instead I have a green stevia I have on my website and I often like to put that in instead uh, today we're going to use honey so we put about uh, two teaspoons of honey in there and then finally 
I like to put a green powder in here as well just to, to add that green element to it. And today we're going to add our Barley Max. This is Barley Max powder. So I'm going to add about, oh, teaspoon, maybe a little bit more of this here. Now this isn't only my greens for the day. This is just adding to the variety of greens that I already get for the day. The more greens, the better. And then the special ingredients when it comes to almond milk is ice. So we're going to put a good amount of ice in here. And when you speed this up, it's such a high speed uh, blender that it actually will warm, warm this up. So if people always ask me, how can I get out warm food in the winter time? Well, I simply tell them to put something like this in a blender and, and just blend it up and it'll, it'll warm it things up. But I'm putting the ice in here to kind of balance that out uh, so it, it doesn't really warm it up and it keeps it nice. So we're putting the ice in here. There we go. And now we're going to blend this up and then we have our almond milk. So we're going to blend this up here. And that's it, folks. That's how you make almond milk. So there you go. That's our almond milk and I'll just uh, there it is. That's our fresh homemade almond milk and I'm not going to use a straw today because I'm going to do the got milk commercial, okay? Look at my milk mustache. Got almond milk? <laughs> Alright everybody. This is Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show, back in the kitchen, saying have a great day and a great raw life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.